Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Now, if like one of our subscribers, you just back from France and you miss these French flavors, this French thing, do not hesitate to contact me and ask me for recipes. This is exactly what Seb did. She went to France and she missed all the seafood stuff that she had there and she asked me, can you make some mussel dish, some fish soup, etc. I said, yeah, great idea. Today, we're going to cover the basic mussel dish which is moule marinière. It's a simple mussel dish where you cook your mussels in butter, shallots, parsley, with white ones and there is no excuse for any of you not to know that recipe because first of all it's simple, it's cheap and it's really an authentic classic dish that you're gonna do over and over again. So let's get started for today and let's make some real moule marinière. Recipe of the day, moule marinière, the French mussel in white wine. All the ingredients are on the video description, so you can refer to that if you want. But roughly speaking, one kilo of mussel, celery, a bay leaf, some thyme, one shallot, garlic cloves, few nudges of butter, salt and pepper, an optional dose of double cream, you don't have to use that, you can do it without, fresh parsley and a dry white wine, ideally French if you can. Now for the preparation, very simple, for this recipe you can take first of all over all your ingredients, the garlic, the shallots and the parsley as well as the celery and put everything in a little blender or food processor, that's what I'm going to use to mix everything to a paste or short to a paste like very very finely chopped. For the mussels, there's just one small thing I wanted to show you, you have to clean them. So if you look at mussels like that, you will see that sometimes you have these kind of little strings. So you can either use a knife and try to very gently scrap the, uh, the, the little seaweed out of it or you can also use a scissor like when you, you know, when you take this thing here and you can just kind of cut it off. But it's kind of easier with the knife. So you go through all your muscle, make sure they're nice and clean and you don't have too much seaweed all over the place. Okay, I've mixed my herbs just to let you see, you know, roughly how it is. This is roughly the kind of size you want to achieve. Nice and blended, nice and chopped. All right, let's start cooking this mussel. First off, you take a large container that can contain your kilo of mussel. And I'm just going to start with my butter. I'm going to melt on an, you know, you start with a low heat so you don't want to burn anything to start off and I'm just going to put all my mix of herbs in there, okay, and you're just going to gently let this mix sweat a little bit, mix with the butter until it's nice and fragrant. I'm going to add a little bit of, of thyme in there and as well of one bay leaf. All right, you're now ready to put your mussel in. Everything at once, very simple. And we're just gonna give it a bit of a, a bit of a toss to start basically, sorry for the camera because I'm always in front to start to mix all of these herbs, as you can see here, with the mussels, you see? And they're nicely coated with the butter and the herb. At this, at this stage, you put the heat on high, 20 centiliters of wine, and you're gonna pour it in. Mix your mussels and wait until it, it comes to the boil. Okay, when the one is boiling, you're gonna shake your muscles. You're gonna mix it once. Okay, so you do one stir to make sure it's nice and coated in the wine. And what you're gonna do is immediately put a lid on and leave these things to cook for five or six minutes maximum. That's it, five minutes, six minutes are gone and our mussels are ready. As you can see here, immediately what you're going to do is kind of scoop them out and put them in another container. 
And as you can see, there's plenty of juice at the bottom. If you want to have a look at the mussels, this is how they look like when they're cooked. So I'm going to transfer this to another container so I can finish my sauce at the bottom. We now have about one minute or so to finish our sauce. So as you can see here, this is the juice from the mussels. If you want, you can serve this already like this. You don't have to add cream, but because it's a bit kind of kind of grayish, it's a normal color and from the sea, I like myself to add a spoon of double cream in the mix to just make it more a little bit more appetizing and it kind of fixes the taste and gives a bit more that kind of a nice creamy taste. So I'm just going to stir this, warm it up for one minute and then pour it over the mussel and serve. All right, and we're there. Basically, how do we serve these mussels? Just a little bit of the wine you've used during your cooking, some nice white wine. You have your mussel over here, and what you do to make sure it's all nice and fresh, you just pour a little bit, sorry about the mess there, you pour some of that creamy, delicious, warm sauce over your mussels with the herbs and be generous. So they're nice and coated with everything. That's it. When this is done, you can get something like that. That would be a good representation of a mussel that I'm going to eat right now. Mm. And you put the shell in there and you're done. This is it guys, this is the Moule Marinière, it's a delicious recipe. Please make it at home and as always if you enjoyed the video give it a the thumbs up, comment and I'll see you next time for my next video. Cheers!